Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. I am Sue from OML Embroidery and today we are working in Wilcom Hatch Embroidery Software. Brand new software, all the power of Wilcom with an easy, easy to use interface and a low um, learning curve. Really it's open it up and go and get to work. Everything is where you think it should be, or at least I thought so. Um, it's easy to use and it's very powerful embroidery. So I'm going to show you something that is so cool with this program. So what we're going to do is we are going to make a design, uh, just a quick design, just something easy. So I'm, I want to digitize. So we go under, this is my favorite toolbox. I go under digitize and I want to make a circle. So I am going to make a circle. So I'm holding down the left key, left mouse key, pull it out. That's one way. Whoops. Click and then pull it out this way. Click and you hit enter to finish it. Go back to our select key and we're going to close this up and we're going to go right here to layout. Awesome. And you have all these really cool things that you can do super fast to do something with this one single circle. Okay, this may be a little bit plain, but that's okay. We're gonna leave it as plain because this circle layout is the coolest thing ever. Now look at this, I'm moving my mouse around and you can reposition everything. I'm moving it down, moving it up. You can spread it out quite like that. And if you go up here, let's put some more. Let's put 10 circles and see how that changes. So you can get perfect positioning. If you want them all scrunched together and you wanted a shape like that, or you tilt it down and it's really fun <laughs> to play with. I could probably play all day. So you could digitize one little thing here and then bring it out. So let's do it right about here. Let's click. Do you want to merge the overlapped objects? So what that means is I've, I'm going to be putting in nine circles. Do you want them as one object or do you want them as separate objects that you can move around? But for this one, I want them merged. Yes. And look what we have. It looks like a donut, not quite a flower, but it looks like a donut. And that was made out of a circle and that was super quick and easy to do. I love it. So let's do control Z, which is uh, undo control Z undo. Let's try another one. Let's go to mirror or copy horizontal and you see what it does. It's the same sort of thing. You have a line and the line is right under my mouse cursor and that's how you can position. Okay. We're doing it basically of course with a circle, but say you had a really cool design. That's how you can start to multiply it. Now let's do them overlapping again. Click. Do you want to merge them? Yes, I do. Thank you. And there you have your merge design. How cool is that? So let's do control Z or Z if you're American. I say Z. Z back to our circle. Let's try this one mirror copy vertical. What do you think is going to happen? Right. The line is the other way. So depending on which way you want to do it, right? So let's try mirror copy both. And if you look at the picture, you can see exactly what's going on. So look at this one. So we don't have just one line. We have two. We have two lines. So move it up and it moves on that axis. Move it over and they all move that way. How cool is that? And it's all having to do with the, the one that we have digitized. So let's go. I don't know what this is going to be, but let's do it. Do I want to merge it? Yes, that's what it is. Maybe the base for a flower. How cool is that? Easy to do, easy to play around with. Now you can do this with any, any object that you have. I just did some lettering. Let's make that a better color. Just click on your colorway here. Pick something nice blue. That's a nice blue. So let's go back and say you wanted to do some typography and you were playing around. Go back to layout. And here you go. Look how, look how cool you can do instantly with that. Put some lines in mirror copy vertical upside down mirror copy horizontal. So it just, it doesn't have to be actually that one might look kind of cool. It doesn't have to be, um, 
you know, objects of flowers or anything. You can also do this with lettering. And I think that looks kind of neat just for playing around with the lettering. Wonder what it'll do for a circle. Well, it'll make a bit of a mess, I guess. <laughs> Let's, I'm zooming out with my mouse. Although, look at that. Let's move this into the right position. You can move, see how it tilts the lettering? It didn't really show that as well with the circle because you can't really see it. But if you maneuver down, you see how the letter letters are tilting like that? What a great effect. Look at that. What a great effect. Let's do that again. So click on that circle layout. Let's do that again. And if you put it up here, they tilt the other way. Put it that way. You can spread them apart. We could actually do less of them. Let's try that. Let's do five. See, that's neat. It almost makes an OML flower. So with less of them, I could get in and do it a bit, a little bit better. That's kind of neat. I don't really like the way the L's are going, but oh, we could even do it. Hey, look at that. That almost looks like an instant logo. Click, done. Look at that. That is OML around in a circle. So you can do just about anything with this layout, the whole thing. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I think if I create a pretty butterfly, I think I can multiply and move them around, change them. You can do anything with just a few clicks. And that's how you play with layout here in Wilcom's Hatch Embroidery Software. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to let me know that you like these videos and you want some more. Thanks everyone for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.